ladies and gentlemen my name is ingus and i'm from igs electronics and i hope you guys enjoyed the little preview at the beginning where i showed a small program that i have written and that is going to be a small task uh, hopefully for you but most definitely for our uh, young apprentices so this is something they will have to a uh, design and hopefully you guys are able to do that uh, to uh, so up till up at, uh, up until all these videos that have been done there should be enough sufficient knowledge to be able to write that program like that and I will talk about that program a little bit throughout the video and um, and then we demonstrate a bit more at the end of the video uh, for it so and uh, two of the two of the not this one uh, two of the uh, functions we're going to be using the PLC and the, we are going to be using today is going to be a timers and more specifically we're going to be using the, the, the accumulation timer right? are we something they call retentative timers and we're also going to be using a counter I see which is a, a but we're going to be using the EEPROM keep a counter so it's something that uh, I want to talk about in separate videos uh, already so uh, these are the two a uh, blocks we are going to be uh, working with today so uh, let's remove that one so uh, let's let's get started so uh, let's open up the program and let's write up some small uh, program so we're gonna go for the first one we're gonna go uh, X for uh, X no actually we're gonna go for M0 so we can play from computer for bugging for the modifying values so uh, and then uh, we are going to be using a coil for t132 which you remember that was our retentative timer for so a quick demonstration again if you look at the 100 at the accumulating 100 milliseconds for at t132 so uh, t132 and we're going to put the K, I don't know, 100, something like that, just for demonstration. And we're also going to be creating another signal, which is going to be a M. Uh, let's go for 1. And remember the counter for the EPROM. Again, let's go in here. That's going to be a C16. And B, uh, C16, so... C16. These manuals, uh, uh, guys, is something that you definitely should be having if you are doing programming with a uh, with uh, these kind of uh, with the Mitsubishi PLC. Just to keep an eye on it, what what is what and what does what. So, so another one. If you watched the last video, we're going to be using a so what we call a master reset. Which for that one, we're actually going to add X for my uh, stop button down there. So we're going to call it X4. And it will reset the bit, and you can find that bit in a manual in here, as you can see down there. My bit M8032 will clear all latched memories. So as you can see, my timer and my uh, my counter is classed as latched, so uh, they will uh, need to be a cleared by a M8032. Non latched, you can clear by 8031. So. Uh, so we can, you can always use both if you want to have like a smart uh, master master reset for the whole thing. So it's a M8032. So once we activate that one, that will reset that. So let's afford it and uh, as usual, let's write it up and write it to the PLC. As always, why not? For the brief demonstration. So that's gone in. So here we go. So we have done that. So uh, next thing, let's go into the uh, monitoring mode. Here we go. So now we are in a monitoring mode. So let's go to modify value. So now have a look at this. Once you put it on a uh, bit on and remove it off, as you can see, the timer has gone to 11. And stopped. So basically, E is retaining its value. Rather than uh, uh, normal timers, when you remove the M or uh, remove the on bit, A E returns back to zero. This one will retain its value and actually will save that value in his memory. So, uh, so uh, that is, so even in an event of the power loss, like let's see, C sixteen. 
he will remember this value which we can demonstrate in a minute so uh, let's put uh, let's put some counts in so now that we have done that so if we go down to the PLC now which is uh, quite a bit away from my table and if we turn off the PLC as you can see we can lose the signal in a minute there we go default pair the, the PLC is gone then then we put it back on and uh, let's go check it out so that's that so uh, let's reconnect the PLC and as you can see all the values has been kept so regarding a uh, this guy near C16 if you by any chance I'm um, uh, now just go off let's say you go in here and you write write up the program and then you load the program back into the PLC and uh, go back to the monitoring mode this guy in here will show zero because it needs to be reset so remember C16 keeps this information at all times in the count in 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 the in a memory so if by any chance your program sometimes ever is glitching it just doesn't count or or not working and things like that, do make sure that uh, the all the retent uh, 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 re retented information or saved information that you have has been reset so uh and to to always to do that to make sure that is uh, that is the case but again it's, it's, it's the, that is the case you can you can check obviously in uh in here I'm going to go for C16 Oop. there we go so you can see the, the value so always double check what values if you have some sort of glitches in the program just, just go into the device batch monitoring enter this uh, what number what you want to monitor and have a look what value is in there and my one value is 3 so that's exactly what is in there just in case something is glitching make sure you double check them so if in my case what I'm going to be doing is depending on your writing the program I'm going to be using a uh, bit M1032 uh, which basically resets all all of them all uh, uh, latched uh, memory bits so by, pressure, by activating that as you can see everything timer and counter pretty much everything that is it was even even if it's not in this in this file we're looking at and there's something else in the PLC that all has been fully reset by sending this signal to PLC and that's it ladies and gentlemen this is what the uh, what the uh, uh, C16 it is do and uh, what the retentive timer do so the retentive timer we are we are using both of these in the in the, in the beginning of the video so this is where we are uh, using retentive timer and I'm going to talk that through and now if we get rid of that and we lift this one up and there it is this is the program that it was running at the very beginning of the video so I'll quickly uh, run that through let me load this uh, online right to PLC yes please and yep close close and uh, it's going to that one so as you can see down here I have a start signal which is my start sequence and then I got my X4 is actually activating 8 MA1031 and MA1032 just to make sure everything is reset uh, from uh, uh, once I push the stop button so once that button is on as you can see the M0 would activate the Y0 which is the runs the belt once the belt is running is my, my X0 in here which is my in feed sensor and uh, as soon as the uh, the product uh, hits in feed sensor it will activate the timer and as long as that uh, product is under that sensor it will keep counting and the maximum allowed count is a k6 so uh, so it will count to uh, five and product should disappear by then if no the alarm will be sounded so as alarm is sounded in here I have no alarm as the, as the products uh, enter the first sensor which is in feed part of it deactivates the m4 and m4 now is allowing the pulsing sense pulser the counter 
uh, Pulsar send a signal to a counter which is allowed to be maximum at 20 counts and that by that 20 count product must exit the line if the product has not exited the line alarms will be sounded as you can see down there my M8013 it can be activated by M3 or by C16 and uh, it will activate the flashing light and set M1 uh, which will a uh, uh, where is it where is it where, there we go uh, stop stop the belt so and and obviously to uh, then as soon as you reach the alt feed sensor as you can see down here uh, the it will reset C16 and will reset the uh, T132 and you will be able to start sending another product and that's pretty much what you've seen at very very start at the video and we'd love to see you guys building something like this and it it it, it try not to copy it try to come up with you know, there's many different ways to do this try not to copy it the way it is so uh, uh so let's do one more last small uh, basic run in a minute so uh it's basically a task to uh, sort of get get yourself get get start building these things in in and uh, in uh, get your get your skills up up there where you needs to be by by this video so hopefully so uh just do one more video so as you can see down here so you did not pass the, it did not pass the timer in time so uh, the alarm has been sounded so we now we reset it and we we pretty much can start it again as you can see if I stop it in here it has not reached the outfit sensor in time and a uh, alarm has been sounded this is a so, so, uh, sort of a uh, small uh, program that uh, is used quite often in a lot of the machinery to make sure that the product flow uh, is uh, accurate and, and everything is in the right place where it needs to be so that will be it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching I hope this makes sense and it gets you well on your way uh, to write out some pretty cool programs and if you are uh, do design any programs you would like me to uh, have a look at it and play uh, uh, run it on 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 this uh, training belt definitely let me know and send send the file over and i'll definitely be uh, love to see how you've done it so uh other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching if you like the video please just smash, smash that like and uh, uh, do subscribe because there is going to be a lot more coming and remember we ain't going to be doing just mitsubishi plc because I, I like learning everything i go through manuals it's just i just enjoy reading them and uh, checking them out what is what so other than that ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video